Hi, I'm David with Swimming Pool Learning, and today I'm going to talk to you about what to do in freezing weather. If you don't winterize your pool and you have a really cold spell, I'm going to go over some of the steps you can take to protect your pool and your pool equipment. And so I recently talked to Harold Evans of Arenda, who had a pool service business back in 1987 when there was another deep freeze, and he went over some steps to take if you have a situation where you didn't winterize the pool and you had freezing weather. One of the first things that he mentioned, and it's very dangerous to try to break the ice off the surface of the pool, you may damage the tile of the pool, and you may do some more damage to the surface of the pool by trying to break the ice off, especially if you hit the side of the pool with whatever you're using to break the ice. So let the top of the pool gradually defrost. It's not going to do any harm to the pool having the ice on the top. So the best thing to do during freezing conditions is to run your pool 24 hours. If you have a freeze protect mode or if you have an automated system, Go ahead and put it in service mode and run the pool 24 hours a day until the temperature rises to a point where it's not going to freeze. And if the power were to go out during this process and the pool were to turn off during a freeze, one of the things that could happen is that the water in the pump and the filter and your valves could be frozen. And then when the pool turns back on, this could be a problem with cracking and damage. So one thing you want to do is to carefully inspect any valves, any check valves on the return line. If the check valve on the return line does not open, this will cause water pressure to build up in the filter and could cause the filter top to explode. And so before you turn on your pool equipment, you want to make sure you take all the Jandy valves apart and check valves apart and make sure that they're free of any kind of ice or they're not frozen. And if the water level had gotten below the skimmer during this time, there's a good chance that the skimmer will expand and crack once the water gets back in there and things heat up. So you may have to replace your skimmer sometime down the road. So if your pump got frozen, I think the components in the pump should be fine. But if the filter got frozen, I would consider replacing the entire filter at that point because the filter may be compromised. You may not see it initially, but I don't think that you want to use a filter that has been frozen. So replacing the whole component or the entire filter may be something you have to do if the filter was frozen during this time. And besides running the pool 24 hours, something else that you could do in the future if you have a big freeze coming and you're afraid the power will go off, Simply drain out your pump, your filter, make sure the backwash line is also drained out so that it doesn't pop the backwash piston open and drain the pool down. That's a danger when things get frozen. So you can drain out your equipment and kind of winterize the equipment that way. Uh, drain out the heater also by removing the plug before the deep freeze happens. If you feel like the power may go off and the 24 hour running of the pool may not be possible, the draining the equipment is one way to preserve the equipment. And as far as any visible cracks in the plumbing, definitely you have to replace that part. And of course, if your filter has visible cracks, that has to be replaced. But again, you may not see the damage to the filter immediately. And if it did freeze, you may need to replace that component. And so like Harold Evans said, before you start your pool up, definitely check the valves and make sure they're not obstructed before the pump. Check the check valves after the filter to make sure they're not obstructed or any other lines that may be obstructed. Because that could be very hazardous when you turn on the pool equipment and the water is going through the filter, that filter tank definitely could explode right in front of you, causing injury and also death. So be very careful when you turn your system back on after everything's been frozen. And there are other components around the pool that have O-rings and tubing like inline chlorinators, offline chlorinators. Anything that has a tubing that goes into the equipment may be compromised. So check all of that before you turn the system on to make sure that they're not going to leak and drain the water out of your pool. And there may be other side effects from the freeze. You may have leaks later on from the O-rings expanding. So make sure you keep an eye on your equipment the month or two after the freeze so you can make sure that everything is running properly and there's no leaks. So the bottom line, if you weren't able to run your pool 24 seven to keep the water flowing and the equipment froze, you really need to inspect your equipment carefully. And it may be the safest thing to do or the best thing to do for future safety is to replace any filters that were frozen and any pumps that may have been compromised by the freezing. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Also receive priority service, enhanced rebate programs, a discount on your general liability insurance through SPA, a discount on your pool riding software through Skimmer, and an opportunity to co-brand with Leslie's on your social media, website, truck, and more. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.